This is the ANU Makerspace in Building 38. This is a space where you can come and do fabrication, design, tinkering. We have a bunch of tools available in this space. So we've got a variety of 3D printers. We've got these ones here, FDM 3D printers. We've also got some resin printers over the other side of the space. We've got things like a desktop CNC just here. And we've got hand tools power tools, also an electronic station with um, some consumables as well as equipment, spaces for you to work. Uh, we've got a really cool machine just here, the laser cutter. One of the coolest machines I think we have in our network. Once you get inducted on it, you'll think of all the things you could have been laser cutting instead of hand cutting out. Here we've got our sewing station. Uh, we've got both a sewing machine and an overlocker. Uh, really popular with people both first learning how to sew, uh, but also more advanced projects if you don't have an overlocker at home. This space behind me is not the maker space, it's the physics experimental workshop, but we do have a couple of tools that you can use in here, including the drill press and the Tormac CNC mill. The ANU maker space was started by the Research School of Physics for the whole university because we believe that people learn by doing, and so we wanted to give students and researchers and staff a place where they could access tools and knowledge and people who could help them solve problems. The Makerspace is available to anyone on campus, so that's staff, students, uh, anyone with an active U number can come and use the space. Um, and we really encourage you to come and get inducted. They're not just about tools and, and spaces with you know, exciting gear, but they're actually a community and a network of people. So that's the Building 38 space. Uh, this is just one of the spaces we have in the network. We're now gonna go and look at the Birch space. This is the main space of the ANU Makerspace at Birch. Um, in this corner we have our sewing station with an overlocker and a regular sewing machine. And along this back bench is all of our electronics gear. Uh, these are the first bank of 3D printers. These are all Ultimaker 3s. They can be a little bit pedantic, but they do have the advantage of dual extrusion. And these banks here are the rest of our 3D printers. We have a bunch of Prusa i3s. Along this back bench there is a Nomad desktop CNC milling machine and its associated computer, a Roland vinyl cutter. We have a bunch of sticker vinyl as well as heat transfer vinyl available to users in the drawers below. We also have a couple of vacuum formers over here. All of these benches are also for use of hand tools or anything you want to do. This is the other half of the make space at Birch. It's got slightly more restricted hours and slightly more restricted access because the pieces of equipment in here are generally a little bit trickier to use. Not necessarily more dangerous, but just a little bit trickier. We have a small hand tools working area, nowhere near as much as next door. But along here we have a drill press, a small manual mill. We have a scroll saw, a granulator for converting large pieces of plastic into small pieces of plastic. Uh, we have a couple of 3D printers here that is set up in a fume cupboard. This is one of our coolest pieces of equipment. It's a water jet cutter. It can basically cut through anything you want, given it enough time, up to 25 millimeters thick. Here is our clay 3D printing setup. We have a Ludum 5M and a pug mill for packing the canisters. This is our 3D scanning area. We have a couple of Academia 3D scanners. These are a couple of our demo pieces for use with that. This is one of our fancy 3D printers. It's a Mark Forged Mark II. It allows you to print carbon fiber reinforced nylon parts, which are similar in strength to CNC and aluminium in some cases. And our large format 3D printer, this can print basically any filament you can buy. It has a heated build chamber that goes up to about 150 degrees and nozzles that go up to about 500 degrees. And here's our loom setup. So you can make blankets, cloths, anything you like. That's it for the Birch side of the ANU Makerspace. This is a space for anyone in the ANU. If you want to get started, just come along for an induction.